Let's see how to find a basis and dimension for a subspace of a given vector space. Take up a problem. Find a basis and dimension of the subspace W of R cube where W is given by two subspaces are already given here. One of the subspaces is set of all ordered triplets of the form ABC. They satisfy the condition A plus B plus C equal to 0. Only those points will be there in this subspace. Another is W equal to set of all order triplets A, B, C such that A equal to B equal to C. If all the three values are equal, only such points will be there in this W. Example 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, like that. Now for these two subspaces, I have to find out the basis and number of elements in the basis. That's what dimension. So take up the first uh, subspace. So there are two variables and one condition given here. As per the condition, I will write C equal to minus A minus B. Writing C in the form of A and B. And substitute A, B as it is. C minus A minus B. Where both A and B are taken from R. Now, there are two variables A and B. So, take A outside first. The coefficient of A is 1. There is no A here, 0. So, coefficient of A is minus 1. Plus, take B here. There is no B in the first coordinate, 0. Coefficient of B is 1, coefficient of B is minus 1. So, A, B belongs to R. Now, every vector of W is written as a linear combination of these two vectors. Therefore, there are two elements in a basis, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1. And hence, dimension of that subspace, it will be 2. Similarly, for the second question, A, B, C, A equal to B equal to C. So, I will replace the coordinates as A B is A, C is A, because both are, all the three are equal. That is equal to every vector of W, it can be written as a linear combination in the sense span of, okay, 1, 1, 1, 1, scalar multiple of 1, 1, 1, take A common, you will get only one vector here. Therefore, basis of this vector is 1, 1, 1, dimension of W is equal to number of elements in the basis, that is 1. This is how we find the basis and dimension of the given subspace. Now, similarly, there is one more problem. Let W be the subspace of R power 4 spanned by the vectors U1, U2, U3. These are the three vectors. Find a basis and dimension of W and extend basis of W to a basis of R power 4. So now, in this case, they had given you three vectors. You know that basis of R4 power 4 should contain four vectors. That second question says that extend it to a basis of R power 4. Now, first you have to find out a basis for the subspace spanned by these four, three vectors. W equal to span of U1, U2, U3. Now, how to do that? First, as before, find a matrix, write a matrix with these vectors as its rows. So, you will get 3 rows and 4 columns. Reduce the matrix to the echelon form. So, because dimension of the row space of that matrix is nothing but rank of the matrix. Rank of the matrix will give you the dimension of the subspace spanned by these vectors. You know that W is equal to span of these 3 vectors. So, now I have written these 3 vectors as rows of the matrix. Now, if you want the... Uh, row space of this matrix, then you have to reduce it to the echelon form and get the dimension of the row space as number of non-zero rows, which is same as the dimension of the subspace spanned by the vectors. So, now apply the operation R2 changes to R2 minus 2 R1 and R3 changes to R3 minus 3 into R1. So, as per that, no change in the first row, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus of minus plus 2, 4 plus 3, 7, 1 minus uh, 2, 5 to so 10, minus 9, minus 4, uh, minus of minus, plus 6, that is uh, 2. Similar, 3 minus 3, 0, 8 minus of minus, it is 8 plus 6, 14, minus 3, and here you will get minus 50, minus 18, minus 5, plus 9, so that gives you 4. Once again, same way, R3 changes to R3 minus 2 into R2. This is because first non-zero entry of first row done. First non-zero entry of second row is 7. Elements below the pivot must be 0. So, write as it is. Now, 0 minus 0, 0. 14 minus 7 to the 14, 0. Minus 18 minus of minus plus 18, 0. 4 minus 4, it is 0. Therefore, now, 
you have to find the rank of the matrix. Rank of the matrix is equal to 2. Dimension of W equal to dimension of row space of A. That is nothing but rank of A. Rank of A is equal to 2. Therefore, W has two elements in the basis. How will you get a basis? The rows of the echelon form always form a basis. Therefore, 1 minus 2, 5 minus 3, 0, 7 minus 9, 2 is one of the basis or else the corresponding rows of the given matrix R1 and R2. These two vectors also form basis of W. So, this is how we will find the basis. Now, the basis of R power 4 should contain uh, four elements. Now, there are only two elements in the basis of W. Can we extend the basis? Because I had already made a video on how to extend the linearly independent set to a basis. So, you can watch that video if you want. I will share the link in the description box. So, here in this problem, now I want to extend it to the basis of R power 4. So, two vectors already there. Now, there is a pivot in the first column. There is a pivot in the second column. Now, you have to add two more vectors which have a pivot in the third column and fourth column. That is nothing but standard vectors only you take 0, 0, 0, 1. So, that all these three, four vectors are in the echelon form. So, hence they form a basis of R power 4. So, 1 minus 2, 5 minus 3, 0, 7 minus 9, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, all these four vectors, when you write it in the matrix form, they will come under row echelon matrix. Hence, they become basis of R power 4. This is how we ex extend the basis. Now, one more problem. Let W be the subspace of R power 5 spanned by these five vectors. Find basis and dimension of W. So, what I will do is, instead of writing these vectors as rows of the matrix, I will write them as columns of the matrix. Any method is fine, but only few changes you have to notice at the end. So, apply the row operations as R2 changes to R2 minus 2 into R1, R3 changes to R3 plus R1, and uh, R4 changes to R4 minus 3 into R1, R5 changes to R5 minus 4 into R1. So, reduce it to the echelon form. This is a work for you. I have done already here. So, then finally you will arrive at this. There are three non-zero rows. Therefore, dimension of W is equal to 3 because rank of the matrix is 3. Now, to find out uh, which form a basis of W, so now as you have written the given vectors as columns of the matrix, you have to find out which columns have the pivot. First column has a pivot, then second column, sorry, the second row, this is the pivot element, third row, this is the pivot element. So, as per that, first column has a pivot, third column has a pivot, fifth column has a pivot. Therefore, U1, U3 and U4. 5 are basis vectors. They form basis of W. You should not now take uh, these values now because we have written the given vectors. If you want the vectors only, out of the given vectors only, which is the basis, in that case we have to do it like this. So, therefore, we can take U1, U3 and U5 as the basis of the given space W. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching.